Okay, thank you everybody for coming in. I just wanted to have a quick meet up with my medical team, just see how you're all doing, and if you do in fact know how to do your jobs. I have never seen so many injuries. Now if you can just please form an orderly line for me, hold up your qualifications so I can check them. Okay, all right. My dad is mates with the owner. Dude, that is not a qualification. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 3 as we follow in Dean Smith's footsteps at Brentford now, of course, in the championship. And today we're going to be playing two games in the league against West Bromwich Albion and Swansea City. But we start in the medical centre because we are... I don't know what's wrong with this club, but we seem to be getting a lot of injuries. The first one is a major one. Ethan Pinnock, uh, a lower back stress fracture, which is a devastating injury. He's out for about a month. He's only been out for about two weeks, about six weeks in total. Um, and it's a big loss because having sold, um, what's his face, uh, Pontus Jensen, we were a little bit thin on specialist centre-backs, and what we didn't need is for arguably the best of them to spend most of the uh, first half of the season injured. Um, so that's a big, big loss. So, um, yeah, it's, we'll, we'll work our way around it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a problem. Uh, and it's a problem that's made even worse by the fact that uh, Sinek is also injured. Um, we, I think we already knew this, but he's out for seven weeks in total with exactly the same injury. Uh, which makes you wonder what the hell we're doing to get all these injuries. He's not a star, but he was someone that could cover at centre-back, so it just puts us one more centre-back down. Uh, and the other injury is less of an immediate impact, but still disappointing. Again, a back strain. Um, what is with the players in this team and their backs? Uh, but he's out for about three weeks, already been out for about a week, so about a month in total. Um, he's a useful player, old uh, Diverse Gulu, I guess you'd probably not pronounce it. <laughs> um but we, I mean, we can get by without him, but uh, particularly in this number 10 role, uh, when Rooney's not available, he was sort of the guy that would come in and play it for us. So it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit disappointing, but like I say, we can work around that one. So a shortage at centre-back, though, is not ideal, um, given that the games come thick and fast, and we pretty much just have the two of them now. Uh, but we have three games to catch you up on since last episode, starting with our game in the championship against Bristol Rovers. Oh, we were so poor in this game. Really, really disappointing result. Of course, newly promoted Bristol Rovers, who came up through the playoffs last season. You can see their goalkeeper played well. Uh, their defense played quite well. You can see by our player match ratings, though, we weren't ever in this game. Um, it's one of those where I think we could have been playing for, you know, six days and still would have struggled to get a goal. Uh, so there it is. It was an even game. Uh, a draw's fair, but a disappointing performance from us. Next up, we went and played Coventry City of League Two uh, in the EFL Cup third round I think it was. We took an early lead when Marcus Falls tucked away a loose ball and he also got our second after half an hour. Ante Palaversa smashed in a debut goal before Anu Sorque got our fourth just before half time and Mikulic got himself on the score sheet early in the second half. So we were too good for them, a rotated team and absolutely smashed them. We did get a first look at uh, Pelaversa and he was fantastic in this one. Yes, against League 2 opposition, but he did get the goal. Fours, uh, for the first time, looked like he knew what he was doing on a football field, which was brilliant to see. He got a double. Uh, Sorke, who is one of our uh, sort of our backup right back, had a decent game. Um, and a first, like, first game, first goal as well for Mikulic. He was, the, of course, the Croatian left back we signed uh, for a million pounds towards the end of the transfer window. Looked really, really good. You can see he's coming along well. So I think he's uh, officially graduated into the senior team now. He will not be in the under-23s again. He's looking a star. Um, we did get our draw for the fourth round uh, away to Arsenal. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, one final game to catch you up on was against Crystal Palace back in the league. We went in front with a Nabil Tuazi Thunderbastard. Before he showed pace, power and position to double our lead. And then rounded off a counter-attack to complete a 10-minute hat-trick. Palace pulled one back in the second half, but we got the points. So there we go. Crystal Palace were top of the league at the time. They still may be, actually. But Tuazi in this was absolutely brilliant. How's that for well, two of the three goals, anyway? But all three goals were absolutely brilliant. 
Um, we ripped them to pieces. You can see there, 10 minutes, we got all three goals. Uh, everybody played well, including our goalkeeper. They got one back in the second half. The second half, it would uh, they make it look like an even game, the match stats, that maybe even uh, Crystal Palace shaded it. But we were so good in that first half. Second half was a, not, was a little bit not quite so good, but we'd already won the game. And look at some of these names. They've got Gary Cahill, Saha, Max Meyer, um, Milovic, that guy, that's name I'll never be able to say. <laughs> Jack Harrison, Jordan Ayew, like this is a Premier League team. Uh, MacArthur as well, James MacArthur. They're a really, really good team and we absolutely smashed them at home, which was brilliant. Um, so there we go, you can see there is our away to Arsenal game, which why couldn't we get that draw when we were playing? With Warsaw, we would have liked the money then. Anyway, quick look at the table. You can see we're in the promotion places, joint top with Crystal Palace. Five wins and four draws from our five games, which is maybe not ideal. Um, but, you know, it's a close division, and as long as we're towards the top of it, then that's the main thing, isn't it? So our first game today is against West Brom. Let's go have a look and see what we're doing against them. We are at home, and we are the favourites for this one. Uh, West Brom are currently, you can see they're sitting down there in ninth, but... You know, they're, what, four points behind us. So if they beat us today, then, you know, we're essentially even on the table again. Uh, update of Warsaw and Villa, if you're interested. Uh, our next club, Villa, have picked up their form a little bit, which is good, I'll say, although they did get smashed by Birmingham in the last game. Um, and Warsaw are continuing to struggle down here a little bit, down in the relegation zone. One win and four draws. Both those last two games, those two, two draws, they were winning both those games, and they let it slip late. So that's going to be costly. Give them another four points up there on 11 points. Um, and it's looking a lot better for them. So they're competitive, but they're letting silly points go right now. But anyway, let's have a look at what we're doing here. They're a Dan Crowley coach team, of course, uh, famous for his work at Lincoln City. Um, they're a decent, he's a decent manager. I say they, it's just him. I don't know if his brother's there or not. Uh, a cautious passing playing style. Uh, and data analysis reports is how we're expecting them to line up, although they may come out in sort of a four like a, almost like the Rusko bus park, if you're following the Barla series, a 4 5 1 sort of a formation. They gave West, uh, sorry, Sheffield Wednesday a bit of a spanking last time. You can see here, very, very narrow, both in attack and defense, uh, particularly their right back here that seems to tuck right in. So um, we are going to be defending narrowly and trying to choke up the middle of the field so they don't have a chance to do that. This is a team we're sending out. You'll notice a change in formation. Um, it wasn't working with wingers. The problem with that, of course, is that in Mumo and, uh, I hate that name, I can't say it, and Canos uh, are two of our better players obviously a wide players, but as a team, it's just not working. So we've gone back to sort of a more aggressive version of what we were playing at um, at Walsall. So it's going to be good arts and in goal. Our defensive duo, we're struggling for centre-backs, as I said. So we've got Pelinard coming in from left-back to play at the centre of defence, which I, he can do. Uh, and we've also got Norgard dropping back into the centre of our defence, which again, he can do. Uh, two ball players, but it's obviously not ideal. Uh, Roslev goes down the right. Valves comes in to play down the left, obviously, with um, with Penard coming into the centre of our defence. He's decent, uh, and I, what we'll do is we'll look to play the Croatian in the next game. Uh, Palaversa is going to play the deep lane playmaker in this one. He's looked really good so far. Let's hope that continues. Jensen and Baptiste in midfield. Rooney is the young gonch. It's Tuazi and Fours up top. Let's go. So there we go. It is. It's a well, sort of a reverse Brusco bus park, isn't it? Five across the back and four in midfield as opposed to four and five. Um, so this is going to be a tough nut to crack, perhaps. Uh, we are at home, so you'd expect us to do something there. Ghana, the assistant says pick up where they left off. We were, to be fair, brilliant against, uh, against Crystal Palace. So let's try that. Some calm. We have faith. Obviously, the problem here is, is our defense. Um, very much a makeshift defense. I think I played these two against Coventry, and well, obviously the whole team did quite well in that one. But there's a big difference between playing League Two Coventry and Championship West Brom, isn't there? So this is the first big test to see how they get on uh, as defenders. Um, yeah, like I say, it's not ideal. We'll, we will obviously look to sign a centre back in January. Um, I think we would have just about got away with it, but two with the two of the centre backs going down. He does a good ball to the back post, and White Roslev with his first goal of the season. Is it his first goal for the club? Uh, we won't know because we weren't here previously. No, it looks like it's just his first for the season. But Mad Roslev with a headed goal at the back post. Theo Valls with the cross, and it's one nil after 15 minutes. It's a good ball in, wasn't it? He's a good cross of Valls. He got a, uh, an assist in one of the cup games, I think. It's a cracking header as well from Roslev, isn't it? Excellent, excellent stuff. 15 minutes gone, 1-0 up. We'll tell them to concentrate. And, yeah, this formation is just working a lot better for us. Um, the problem we're going to run into is what to do with, with the, well, particularly the two wide players on the bench because 
they're good players and we do want to at some point I'd like to play a game with wingers and be a bit more aggressive and attacking but right now I don't know if it's the way that that our manager's career is progressing with we're, we're just not really getting much out of wingers um not been the best first half after the goal but we'll take it uh, an assertive don't get complacent uh Wayne Rooney is uh, he's only playing a 6-4 again he's not doing particularly well uh his average match rating is way down um, he is, of course, club captain, and if we have a look at his attributes, yes, they're declining, but he's still a wonderful, wonderful player. Um, here we go with the corner, Rooney to take it. Decent ball in, it's there, it's headed away. It's going to be picked up by Tuazi. He can whack him in from anywhere. He has a go, and it's into the side netting. Um, yeah, so I do want to keep Rooney in the team just because of, I mean, leadership, and he has the ability to, to be a really good player for us. It's just not quite working out for him at this point in time. Um, but we'll, as I said, we'll wait and see. He's not, he's not sort of letting us down, or certainly what we see in highlights anyway, so I'm willing to give him a little bit more time than I perhaps would another player. Uh, he has announced to, he's, he has officially announced his retirement at the end of the season. Um, oh, it's very scrappy back there. Pelinard just whacks it behind for a corner. Let's maybe go off attacking. Tell him to concentrate. Uh, that shout, unfortunately, is going to go out after this corner, though, isn't it? Can we get that away? It's over the bar. Leko with the header over the top. Um, yeah. It's a tough one on Rooney, though. It's not. He's really not particularly doing the job here for us. Let's try playing through the middle and see if we can get him involved a little bit. Actually, you know what we might do? Let's lower the tempo down. Um, we don't need to be pinging it around at this point. Demand more. Oh, it's... Another free kick to defend. Get that away! It's over the bar by Livermore. Um, yeah, we've not been particularly good this second half, have we? Uh, we've been, you might argue, quite poor. Very much second best again. Livermore out there to march getting forward. Can we get a block in here? He goes in, he shoots. It's over the bar. And nothing to see here. All right, Rooney's getting tied up there now. So let's get on. Can Mumo play through the middle? There's no reason why he couldn't. Let's try him there. Um... A part of me wonders if the Ongontrol perhaps isn't, let's try as attacking midfielder, uh, isn't maybe the one for Rooney. I might try a different, uh, maybe a different role for him. Um, Panoranda, though, the striker has looked quite good when he's playing, especially with the two up front. We've got a block in there. Tuazi has it. Can we launch on the break here and put this game to bed? In there to Palaversa. He goes back to, uh, who was it? Palenda, or whatever his name is. Vals gets forward now. Come on, boys. Can we put this game Bad. He goes past one. He's at post. It's Roslev again. It's off the crossbar, was it, I think, that time. And, well, there we go. All right, let's go and close this thing down. Let's go close this thing down. I think the back two have done as well as we could expect them to do, really, haven't they? Uh, let's get you guys fullbacks on support, please. We don't need you bombing forward anymore. Um, what we could do is we could bring on this... Who do we want to bring on here? Uh, we... I'm cautious about match fatiguing players. Um, De Silva for fours. Let's make that change. De Silva, uh, just drop back in there for me, please, and thank you. Baptiste, uh, you go box to box. De Silva, um, what do I want you to do? You can be advanced playmaker. And Jensen, can you just sit in for me, please? And Palaversa, can you, what can you do? Just, just sit in for me, please. Just sit in. All right. And let's hopefully now see this game out. Gunnarsson with a goal kick to Norgard in for Palaversa. He lumps it forward. Is it towards anybody? Not really. West Brom come away with possession again. And it's a, we'll do well to win this, I think. Tuazi's there. Mbumbo has it. He gets it forward to Fours. Can he do something wonderful? Has he got a finish on him? He gets himself into the penalty area. Straight into Johnson. And that is the end of the highlight, I would imagine. It is. Let's close it down completely now. Let's play for set pieces. Slow down the pace, boys. Let's be more compact. Make it difficult for them. Go defensive. And if you can just see this out, it would be another tight win. Not our best performance, but we got the goal in the first half. We did just about deserve it. Um, 
But yeah, with a makeshift defence against a team like West Brom, I'd say that's not too bad. So there we go. Brentford go top of the championship. It wasn't pretty, but it got the job done. Uh, guys, wait right there. We'll be back to play Swansea City. We're off to Wales next. Okay, welcome back. We are in Swansea, ready for our game in the championship. We are favourites to this one, uh, which is good to see. They are in inconsistent form. They haven't won for a few games here either, which is hopefully something we can continue. Uh, in the league table, they are... Where are they here? They're down there. They're struggling with, I mean, 11 points from 10 games in 20th. Um, we have exactly doubled their points as we sit high flying on top of the division. So have a quick look what we're up against here. They are a Steve Cooper coach team. I recognize that name. Where do I recognize that name from? Um, I wonder, he might be a coach we have at Barla. I wonder if that's where I recognize the name from. Anyway, beside the point, uh, an adventurous direct playing style here. Let's have a look. We're expecting them to come out in this sort of a formation. Uh, Daniel Azani plays for them. Very nice indeed. One of Australia's great hopes. Um, I think I looked just trying to sign him, actually. Uh, anybody else there we recognize? There's a few names, but no one major, I don't think. Positional heat map we can see here. They may be a little bit narrow. They do like to attack down the wings, though. Passing network is very much non-existent, <laughs> and uh, there's, the, again, they look to for a direct team, sort of in that final third, aren't they, before they look to make that key pass. Let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. We are making a lot of changes here. We have some fatigued players. I'll show you what I mean. Um, you can see there, a lot of match fatigued and tactical intensity tied players. Um, so that's why we have the, the changes that we've made, and we've got wingers basically because they're fresh. Um, so Gunnarsson continues in goal. It's all changed at the back with Mikulic, Sorensen, Rasic and Torque uh, as the back four. Vals comes in to play the deep line playmaker in this one. It's Hammer and it is the Silver Hammer we haven't seen much of but he's a very very talented youngster. Um, so we'll give him a game. It's Kanos and Mbumbo uh, going in wide areas with Panoranda uh, out wide and one thing I did want to show you before we go is international call-ups. Here we go. So you can see exactly who it is that's playing for their international team. Um, so there, that is there. We've also had uh, previously to that uh, Baptiste caught up to go to play for Granada. All right. So everybody is lining up as expected. We go back to the wingers and let's hope we get a response here that is positive. Uh, go out there and prove a point today. Let's maybe go with a little bit of passion. Um, do we expect a win? Let's try it. I haven't tried it with uh, with Brentford yet. I mean, we're top of the table. In theory, we're playing well, even though performances, I don't think, are quite matching results just now. Uh, but results are what breeds confidence, isn't it? So let's hope um, that we can go out there and put on a nice display here for everybody. Um, yeah, going back to wingers obviously makes me a little bit nervous. It's not ideal, but it sort of needs must, isn't it? The silver has it there. Back to Mikulic. Decent crossing. It's headed away. Kenos picks it up. Back to Hammer. Out there just to uh, Sorke. Oh, that's a stunning strike. A nil. I know Sorke or Sorke would be, wouldn't it? A stunning strike to give us the lead. His second of the season. A wonderful start. Eight minutes gone. Good ball to the back post. Headed away. Kenos has done well. Hammer picked out his teammate. And that is a quite wonderful strike across the goalkeeper. From our French fullback, Arnel. Arnaud. <laughs> I just, should just give up. Uh, all right. I was have to go for like people anglicise names, aren't they? So I can say it all oh, just over the bar. A little bit of luck there, boys. Come on. Um, what do we want to do here? We'll tell. We'll demand a little bit more. Again, we've not necessarily been the best. Uh, the best team here yet. We find ourselves one 0 up. QPR's taking the lead against Birmingham. Their QPR was second in the league to us, weren't they? Coming into this one. Panarenda's looking nervous, which isn't ideal. Again, we're not getting what I would like out of our attacking players. Um, Alright, so let's try lowering the tempo and see if that helps. Um, I feel like we should be we should be better perhaps than we are. So, okay, with a ball into the box. It's headed away. Kenos should pick that up. He's very much on his own. Can he beat his man? He can. Oh, he can. So, kind of, but not really. Palace has taken the lead against Stoke, and we're in a little bit of trouble here as Josh Thomas. Josh Thomas, we had him at uh, Western United in the in the uh, in the beta series, didn't we? I'm almost positive we did. Anyway, beside the point again, <laughs> we're one 0 up at half time, which is excellent. Um, assertive things are going well. You're capable of better, boys. I'm going to say that it's not been it's it's been. <sighs> Passable, hasn't it? Without being fantastic. We'll tell the players here that aren't playing particularly well. We want to see more from them. Uh, Hammer is doing very, very nicely indeed with that assist. Um, 
yeah, again, it's just it's been it's been passable, hasn't it? I, we've got to be the worst looking team on top of a division there's been in a long, long time because I don't really. I mean, Crystal Palace, we were brilliant. Outside of that, I don't remember us being that good in too many games. Um, so it's almost a miracle that we find ourselves where we do in the, in the league. Uh, and Bumbo not having a great time. Saw Kett with a cross in. It's there. Oh, and Bumbo, he's not looking too bad now. A third goal of the season for him. We've got a goal early in each half. We're 2-0 up, and that should, if we defend properly, which you'd like to think we will do, that should just about be that. Decent ball in, and Bumbo wins the header. Mads back was doing his best to be caught offside there, but luckily he wasn't. And there we go, 2-0. Excellent, excellent stuff. We're not doing too bad in terms of possession. I think lowering the tempo has definitely helped, hasn't it? Uh, particularly, I think, with wingers, we do need to lower the tempo to get the best out of us. Um, it's not... Yeah, I mean, we don't really need to change too much here. Uh, there is an international break coming up after this game, so um, that helps in terms of hopefully getting some players back that will be a little bit fresh of, though we've seen we do have a few going away, which obviously isn't ideal. So Kett with another ball into the box. It's back post. Oh, it's... Kenos, and it's, oh, it's, off, it's, it's pushing another player. Rasic, I think, looks suspiciously guilty there, doesn't he? And with four or five minutes to play here, what we don't want to do is give him a way back into this game. Ball forward, can we win that? Flick on, we do really well with Rasic. Sorensen has it, back to Mikulic. Forward, oh, it's Hammers lost out there, and we are finding ourselves getting hit on the break here. Benarama, who now he was at Brentford, wasn't he? I'm almost positive. Um, he's a Brentford player in real life right now. We'll give him some more praise as we enter stoppage time. Two minutes to play. You'd like to think we're not going to concede twice in stoppage time. So hopefully points are in the bag here. It's just a matter of whether we can keep a clean sheet or not. There's a ball forward. Benarama's there, tries to bend one. Past the post, and that should be that. Goal kick with uh, 90 seconds to play. Gunnarsson stands over it, out to Rasic. Rasic goes forward, looking for, but not finding, uh, it was probably Kenos out there, isn't it? It's putting decent pressure on them. Can we stop the cross coming in? We can. It goes behind for a corner. No, it's a goal kick. Oh, well, even better. We probably don't need to be attacking, do we? Let's go back to positive. Gunnarsson with another goal kick. Again out to Rasic. Rasic again goes forward, looking for Kenos. This time he finds him. Kenos back there for Sorke. Infield for Hammer, back to Sorke, down the line, good ball for Kenos, can we get a third, it's blocked, it's still there for us, can he grab his foot around, Pedaranda sticks it away, was he offside, I don't think he is, and Dialberto Pedaranda gets himself a goal, his second of the season, we'll give them some praise for that, and in stoppage time we get a third, a much, much better second half performance from us, wasn't it? A little bit of luck there with the ricochet and Panarenda just... He did really well, actually, to stay on side, didn't he? I think it was this man that was playing him on. A good finish, and that is 3-0. Game done. Points in the bag. A successful trip to Wales. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, what do we say to that? I'll tell you what, I'm quite happy with that, actually. That was good. For once, I may have done a halftime team talk that worked. It <laughs> didn't have a negative impact. Uh, but there we go. Um, we're close to some money, are we? Uh, featuring those now one game featuring... Fantastic, we'll take the money. Uh, West Brom linked to Mbumbo. I'm tempted to sell him just so I don't have to say the name anymore, but he's a good player for us. Uh, Sorke looked absolutely brilliant in that game, didn't he? A goal and an assist from a, a fullback. Brilliant stuff. And if we have a quick look at the league table, look at that. Three points clear. Are we going to do three leagues in a row? That would be something, wouldn't it? Uh, Walsaw are still down there. Just the one win. They drew nil-nil with Villa. So that's a result for them, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, if we want to update on the Villa job situation, uh, job security here, um, that's available. We want to go down. Do we see the job available? No, I don't. I think he he has. They have picked up their form recently, so it looks like he's done enough there to uh, secure his job as old Michael O'Neill. So that's in a way a good thing. I don't, I don't want to move on from Brentford too quickly. Uh, but there we go, guys. That is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time. That Cardiff game's really a pain in the backside, isn't it? I think what we will do, the two games, I think, we want to see Arsenal away, don't we? See how we can do against a Premier League team. I'll play over the Cardiff game, and then we'll come back and see the Walsall game. See how our boys are getting on. Um, it'll be a nice return to Walsall and see uh, see how we're greeted. So that's all for next time, guys. Until then, I've been Aussie Bill. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.